Hey guys, welcome back to Smoke Kingdom Hearts, and we're finally embarking on our quest for Ultimate Weapon. So first we're going to get a bunch of synthesis items, and to do so you'll need Lucky Strike for all three of your characters. If you don't have Lucky Strike for all three of your characters, you're pretty much better off grinding until you get Lucky Strike, rather than searching for synthesis items right now. So to make Ultimate Weapon in this game, you need to synthesize every single other item in the game. So to do so you need all the materials. So we're going to start off with... Blaze shards. Blaze shards you can find in Monstro from monsters called Red Nocturnes. They're these little red guys that float around, and you can find them in Monstro, you know, throughout the level. Um, pretty much it. Alright, Blaze gems you can find in Agrabah, and they're dropped by Fat Bandits and Regular Bandits. I recommend going to the Cave of Wonders to find these guys. Um, my favorite spot in the Cave of Wonders is the treasure room and the lamp chamber, so we're going to be going there shortly. So just head on over to the lamp chamber, right after the treasure chamber. The treasure room does have some monsters in it, but a lot of them are monsters you don't need to kill. So I recommend going straight to the lamp chamber and in there you will find tons of bandits everywhere. So just travel to the edges of the area and bandits will just rise out of the sand and you know just waiting to be killed they'll drop blaze gems all over the place. It's crazy. Blaze gems aren't that rare since this item but they're not as common as the shards are, so you will have to kill a good number of fat of bandits and fat bandits to get the number of blaze gems you need to synthesize all the items. Yeah, as you can see, I'm spamming fire because I forgot to put it on my customized menu. Yeah, so they just, they just spawn at the edges of the stage, and they're pretty easy to kill. They drop blaze gems regularly, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so Frost Shards and Thunder Shards, you can find them by killing Blue Rhapsodies and Yellow Operas. They're these Blizzard and Thunder casting magic floating things that spawn mainly in Wonderland. And they drop pretty commonly, so you don't have to kill that many of them to get all the Blizzard and... I mean, all the Frost and Thunder Shards you need. So just hang out in Lotus Forest, that's where the most of them spawn. And that's basically it. Thunder Shards and Blizzard and Frost Shards, sorry, are pretty easy to obtain. Yeah, we don't need those guys yet. Those guys drop other items. Alright, and to get the gem version of the item, which is Thunder Shard, Thunder Gems and Frost Gems, head on over to Atlantica and kill the monsters there. Pretty much all the monsters in Atlantica drop thunder, shard, thunder gems and frost gems, with the exception of the Hollow Bastion monsters. So these large guys are called sea neons, or, you know, sheltering zones, which shelter many sea neons. And they drop frost gems. And frost gems are kind of rare. I found that I don't find as many frost gems and thunder gems as I do the other gems, but it doesn't really matter. And these things, called screwdrivers, drop thunder gems. There's another monster that drops thunder gems as well in Atlantica. Um, I believe they're called Aqua Tanks, which I'll be showing you in a couple seconds after killing off these larger Ceneons. Yeah, I really should put fire on my my quick menu, or whatever that's called. Yeah, so this big thing over here is called a Aqua Tank, I believe, and he drops thunder gems as well at a kind of rare rate, but. Most gems are pretty rare anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So just make sure you got the number of items you need. You need quite a few of each item just to make all the synthesis items in the game. So make sure you spend a good amount of time in each area collecting at least 10 of each synthesis item. That's what I did, and you have some pretty good success with that.
Alright, so power shards. Power shards can be found in deep jungle. So enter the tent, I mean, exit the tent, sorry, and kill the monster that is the bane of my existence, Power Wilds. The little monkeys that spawn in deep jungle. And they are so annoying, just because they just think they're so cool sliding around and everything. God, I hate them. But they drop power shards at a pretty decent rate, so it's all good. Yeah, don't go in here. There are no power wilds here. Right now, at least. I mean, they may spawn at a later rate, but not right now. Yeah, so power wilds drop power shards pretty well, and that's basically it. I mean, nothing else to say about power shards, except... I found that you find the majority of them inside this camp area, so I guess you should just stick around here and kill the power wilds that you can. Alright, and power gems. So power gems are kind of annoying to get because they're found in Neverland, and I just hate Neverland. I hate going to Neverland when I'm not doing the story of it. So I'm pretty sure that these normal pirates drop power gems, but I'm not actually that sure. I know that air pirates drop power gems, so you want to go to the exterior of the ship, kill off these dark balls first because they will prevent the power, I mean the air pirates from spawning, so go down and take out these dark balls. One problem with Neverland is that the enemies that drop power gems all fly, so if they fly over the water and they drop a power gem into the water, you pretty much can't get it after that. So you want to make sure that you kill them above the ship so you can at least pick up their drops. So right here I got a power gem, sweet power gem, and that's it. The other enemy that drops power gems is the battleships, but most of the time they hang out above the water, so it's kind of annoying to kill them above the water, because most of the time they either won't drop the item or they'll drop it into the water, and what are you gonna do now? Your item's in the water. Alright, and now we're moving on to the bright materials. Bright gems you can find in deep jungle. And I have to credit this to Bloody Biscuits. I watched his video to find this one. Um, this is an amazing place to find Green Requiem, which is the monster that drops bright shards. So right now you only saw one of them down here, but you will find a ridiculous number of Green Requiems up on top of this cliff area. A good, I don't even know, like 10 Green Requiems spawn, and you usually get quite a few bright shards run of this area so you know credit goes to bloody biscuit for finding this place I had no idea this even existed so yeah there are tons and tons of green requiems and all the little boys and girls will be happy that their bright shards are back so you want bright gems huh well head on over to Traverse Town Traverse Town has tons of enemies that you need to kill for the synthesis items, but you can also find search ghosts here, which drop bright gems. And they're not that rare, they're pretty common actually. And search ghosts themselves you can find everywhere throughout Traverse Town, so this is just one of the many places you can find the search ghosts. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the more densely populated areas of search ghosts. So in this first half of the second district, and if you fly over to this area, a couple more search ghosts appear and you can kill those too for bright gems. But search ghosts are annoying ass enemies because they teleport around and, you know, touch you with their gloved hands. It's not cool. So, spirit shards are dropped by soldiers and large bodies. Now, at first I was wondering where these guys spawn because most of the time, because after Hollow Bastion is sealed, all the enemy locations change, so I'm pretty sure this is the only place you can find soldiers and large bodies here in Agrabah. So just head on over to Agrabah and take out some, some soldiers and large bodies and whatnot. They're fairly common items, so you don't have to kill that many of them to get all the spirit shards you'll need. I think you need like, you know, maybe 18 or so of spirit shards to synthesize everything. 
And in the second room, there are even more large bodies, and gravity is always your friend, because large bodies have tons of health. You know, in retrospect, I probably should have made a world guide rather than a, uh, you know, synthesis guide per item because I keep on having to revisit worlds to show you guys where the items are. Anyway, this is where you find spirit shards. And wow, they're really common. Oh my god. Alright, so Spirit Gems, we're returning to Wonderland, and this time entering the Bizarre Room. Now, I'm not sure which one has more Air Soldiers, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you can find Air Soldiers in Wonderland. They're these floating soldier guys, and they're really annoying, because they float around and they're all like, Look at me, I can fly, but nah, they drop Spirit Gems at a fairly rare rate, so you're going to have to kill quite a few of these guys to get your Spirit Gems. I'm not actually sure of all the drop rates of the various items, but I tend to find that spirit gems are some of the harder drops to find. And of course you'll also find tons of, you know, magic casting, floating heartless here, and a defender. I don't know why that cops there. But yeah, the bizarre room is generally a good place to kill heartless. Although there aren't that many air soldiers here, actually. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, the Bizarre Room isn't actually that good. I think that you might have better luck at Lotus Forest, which is where I'm going to go in a couple seconds. Come on, come on. Alright. And into Queen's Castle we go. So just head on over to Lotus Forest, and I believe there's a couple more air soldiers in here. We're going to have to do this quite a few times to get the number of spirit gems you need because air soldiers do not like dropping spirit gems. Come on, drop a spirit gem. Ah, oh, damn you. Alright, forget it. I don't think there are any more air soldiers. Yeah, okay. I'm leaving. So these next few items are, you know, kind of annoying to find. Um, lucid shards and lucid gems. You can find them both in Halloween Town. I'm going to say that again because I think I said it too fast. Lucid shards and lucid gems can only be found in Halloween Town. Um, my opinion, the best place to find them is the graveyard because after you seal Hollow Bastion, pretty much the only place you're going to find shadows, which is the monster that drops lucid shards, is here in the graveyard. And the monsters that drop lucid gems are these white knights and the gargoyles that fly around. The wizard is just a bonus, but we don't really need him right now. So just go ahead and take out all the monsters here, and you should have a couple of gems to show for your work. I find that these gargoyles drop gems at a higher rate than white knights. There's a lucid gem. And like I said, um, although shadows are really common at the early parts of the game, after you seal Hollow Bastion's keyhole, they're really, really rare and heartless, and I'm pretty sure that this is the only place you can find them. At least in Halloween Town, not necessarily just the graveyard. And lucid shards are fairly common drops, so you don't have to worry about killing too many shadows to get the number of lucid shards you need, but it always helps to kill a bunch of them anyway. And that's actually the end of this first section of the video. Next section of the video, we're going to be moving on to the crystals. The crystals you need are considerably harder to get than the following items that we just discussed, but they're still not that bad. Only a few crystals take a ton of time. So I'll see you guys next time.